Do you want to see Joe Biden run for a second term? She's going to go. Yeah, I, you know. That, that's an easy question. It's not going to take long. Do you want to see Joe I, Biden I don't run? want to answer that question because we have not, that's not, yeah, I don't want to answer that question. Okay. Um, I mean, he's the president and he has the right to to run for a second term. Absolutely. That's, but right but I don't want to, I don't, I don't want, I'd rather you not do that. Okay. Answer. I just want to ask uh, about President Biden. He is saying he's going to run again in 2024. Will you support him? You know, if the president chooses uh, to run again in 2024, I mean, first of all, I'm focused on winning this majority right now uh, and preserving a majority this year in 2022. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But um, but I think if, if the president has a vision, then that's something certainly we're all willing to entertain and examine when the, when the time comes. That's not a yes. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we should endorse when we get to it. But I, I, I believe that the president has been doing a very good job uh, so far. And, um, you know, should he run again? I think that I, you know, I think it's it's we'll take a look at it. <laughs> President Biden facing calls from the media to quit before he does even more damage to the country and his party. I'm laughing at Greg. As Biden recovers from COVID, liberals are sensing a golden opportunity to hit the guy while he's down and find someone better to replace him. And boy, Biden's down. The latest Quinnipiac poll has Joe's approval rating at another all-time low, just 31%. And now the Washington Post is giving the green light to this. Quit, Joe, quit. Biden could save the midterms with a one-term pledge. Chris Christie summing up the president's situation this way. When 64% of your own party says a year and a half into your presidency, thanks but no thanks, um, that does reflect, I agree with you, the frustrations of Democrats, some because they don't think he's done enough, and some because they think he's done too much. Joe Biden is in no man's land. That's an awful place to be as, a, as, a, as an office holder when you don't have anybody.